G'day folks. Now, before I actually start the video, I just thought I might let you know, this video was uh, filmed back in March before all the coronavirus and that hit. So, sorry about the delay and all this, but yeah, I just sort of might put something up to show you what happens around here. Uh, sadly, I believe the event is now cancelled because of the virus. So, um, again, just check the pages, like the Facebook page, the the website and all that for further details. I'll even put a link in the description below. So I hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe as well. Please uh, comment and share as well if you want. Uh, really helps out a lot. So here's to it. Enjoy. Let's get big here. Now, sunny afternoon, I decided to go out for a bit of a drive, something to do. I'm in the daily, just to get out of the house for a bit. Now, I decided to go for a bit of a drive out towards Leeburn Way. Now, what's that Leeburn, you ask? Apart from the fact that you got the Leeburn Park, which is owned by Shane Webke, and around September, every year, uh, there's historical street sprints happens but i'm in march this is march why am i doing out here well i'm in the very spot where the rwf base used to be like the airstrip and that which happened back in 1940s and this was queensland's first australian grand prix right here in this spot for motor cars and that so you see here is the memorial for it little map here see right here that's where we are right now all right this is the main straight start finish was just up over that way a bit so you'll go away right down through there this is the main straight i mean you don't see much around here but it's all farmland and you look over towards the daily back up that way the start finish line was up near those sheds up there probably a bit hard to see just uh give me a moment i'll turn this around there we go I've got the camera facing around see right down towards there uh let me just zoom in that's the camera now i don't know if you can see it there's some um, machinery equipment down there Right, the main straight headed all the way down through there, just past there, and used to turn left, follow all the way around the back straight. Uh, there's probably like some sort of little shed out towards there. I know it's a bit hard to see, I'm on, on my camera phone. All the way across, and over towards them trees and that, it turns back up in triangulation shape, all the way back up towards over the far side over here dog legs around comes back along the main straight long here see the sheds just over here i think that's where the start finish line was and the pits was not far around here either zoom back out yeah so i just thought i might come and show you something a little different this is where the first queensland australian grand prix was back in 1949 18th of September. Hence, it's why they have this, the Leeburn Historical Street Sprint every September around this time of year. As it says here, this was the 14th Grand Prix in Australia, and it's also featured the first missed start in the Australian Grand Prix. How's that for? How's that for statistics? More than 30,000 spectators attended. All right. Here's another look at the map. Yeah, 
Now if we follow about, about another, see, two k's back towards Leeburn. It's on on Macquarie Drive here. We take a left and that'll be um, that be where the old World War Two World War Two airfield base was. So this is just a little bit of history around this area. Imagine what, the, what it was like back then, eh? The cars were on by. And it's all pasture now. All farmland. And the flies are bad at the moment. <coughs> Flipping flies. Hey. Anyhow, I might duck around to the airfield base there and see what's there. Alright, now this is a plaque of where the Air Force Base used to be. See, we're right about here, at the intersection of between the two runways. Alright? So that's coming from over there, all the way across to here, and along this area across here, all the way down to the other end over there. Now, if I'm correct, right, this section here is where it carries on through, over through all the farmland and all that. I think this actual right here, dog legs to the right, and it carries on to where we were before. Across on that other road, which is over the other side of all these trees over there, and comes back around and then down along this airstrip here which used to be right across along here through those trees there along about there now like I said this was the track for the 1949 Grand Prix is utilizing the old airfield base here's the aerial view of what it was so you got the main straight across here see we were about here before, right, pit entry, entry and all that, the pit's all along here, right, like I said, a dog leg around, across the back straight, come up through this way, and then up along here, so, yeah, so that's coming back down through here, that's this section here, and then coming across the main straight, the pits are around here, <coughs> oh, excuse me, like I said, all the way down through there, crossing over to where we were before, and right around. So, the remains of the Lebanon RAAF World War II airfield. From this side, 200 Lebanon Special Duties Flight flew covert operations deep into enemy held territory to support the Z Special Units. So, a fair bit of history around here. The need of the land for the big bombers, one way or another. Here it's it's all flat. It's all from here through Liban all the way over through to Melmarin, going to Windy, Pampas, all the way out to Sasa Plains. She's all farmland now. Although I think this section here, because there's a windsock there, I think they must have like small planes here for crop dusting and that they use this area. Judging by all the tyres all being painted red and white, I'd say that's the only time they use this section here for the crop dusters. So I'm not entirely sure where the buildings and that were, but yeah. I wonder what it would look like back in 1949. Man, that would have been a sight to see. Especially all the cars racing around through here. Anyhow, time to move on. Alright, here we are in historical Lieburn. 
Got the old RSL there, and it looks like to be an old international fire truck up there too. Really old, that one. Yeah, there's Leeburn. Uh, you got the old general store over the far left. A little roundabout up there, so if you take the left over there, that takes you over to the, where the sprints are held. Now, uh, that'll be the intersection down around there for where they do their cut left and around. And here's the old Royal Hotel Leeburn Pub. Still got the old historical charm to it, as with the rest of the town. Old school houses, old stores. Yeah, old motel cabins right here. Not a bad little town. Now, before I head off home, there's just one last stop I want to show you guys. This here is where the annual Leeburn Sprints happens. So the last time I remember, the start line's roughly around here. They go down towards the intersection, take a right, go around the school. There is a bit of a bus stop around there, so they've got to do a bit of a chicane sort of thing at the bus stop. Go around, take a block around, come back this way, and then they take a left up at the same intersection. So they literally cut the intersection in half, and they shoot up towards the other end, and then they cut, then they put back around the pub, which is right over there, and then come down this way, back into the pit area. So this is the pit area all across here. All right. So as you see here, the historic. Leeburn Sprints is actually happening on the 22nd and 23rd of August 2020 on Saturday, Sunday. That's actually about two weeks before the Pittsburgh Sprints, roughly around that time. So there'll be a show and shine and that. So if you want to go for more details, check out the Leeburn Motorsport Sprints. Sorry, LeeburnMotorsprints.com.au. That's a website. You can check out their Facebook page, the Historic Leeburn Sprints and all that. It's a beautiful area out this way. It does get chilly in August too. So if you're out this way, pack some jumpers and stuff. There's another park here. Of, this is a generalisation of, uh, let's see, Historic Libra and Sprints has ensured the continued celebration of the first hosting of the Australian Grand Prix in this area. And that's all it is. It's basically racing in celebration of the original Grand Prix. So... Yeah, doesn't look like much here, but holy moly, come around August, it's one hell of an event. It's a really good event to watch. You get to see all the classic cars from the, like from all the way back in the 1940s, all the way up through your Hillman Imps, your Minis, um, even in the Bathurst. Bathurst winning cars like your Falcons, your, your Tiranas, and all sorts of cars from all walks of life from anywhere around the world. Alfa Romeos, and that. I mean, also, Dick Johnson comes out here every now and then, along with Stephen, his son Stephen Johnson, right? Guaranteed, one of those two will be here every year racing. Great people around the place. Anyhow. Oh, it's a bit noisy over there. All the cockatoos. There's also another campsite round over the other side over there too. So I hope you enjoyed this little tour around Leeburn. So when you get a chance, check out the Facebook page. Check out the website. Get out here. Come and have a look. See what's going on. Even go to the pub. Have a few drinks in there. Obviously, if you're going to have a drink, don't drive. So in that case, stay safe on that road. Keep it off the street, and we'll see you around the smoke zone.